the dark night of the soul. We are spiritual beings having a human existence. What y'all know about that? It's your girl Exquisite Bliss of Spiritual Life Coaching and in this video I am going to discuss the dark night of the soul. So the dark night of the soul is actually a part of the spiritual awakening process and it is the part of the process where you just want to die. Okay, I mean you just really want to die. You feel so lost, stuck and trapped and you can't escape it. If you are the type that worries and carries around negative energy and emotions, this is the part of the stage that may be pretty intense for you. I know mine was very intense because I did tend to worry a lot and was carrying around a lot of negative emotions and a lot of negative energy. And those were my generational curses that I had to overcome. So during my process, I experienced a lot of rage, anger, sadness, depression, anxiety, and grief. I had my good days and I had my bad days. And on those bad days, I couldn't even get up out the bed, much less hold my head up. It was miserable. There were times when I wanted to cry just to have some type of release, but the tears would never come. I was wanting to stay in isolation. I did not feel like being bothered with anyone. I didn't want to talk to nobody. My family was, was looking at me as if I was losing my mind. And in a sense, Yes, that's exactly what was going on. I was fighting and that was making it worse. And at the same time, Psalms 23, 4 became my best friend, which states, And though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I will fear no evil, for you are with me. Your rod and staff comforts me. So you see the struggle that I was going, excuse me, you see the struggle that I was having between the awakened state and the former state. But then came that pivotal moment when I stopped fighting and just allowed the process. And what happened then was phenomenal. Y'all, I just started receiving downloads of information in my mind. I was waking up at three o'clock in the morning, talking actually speaking these things that was just like being poured into my mind. And I was like, what the? But it just made perfect sense and perfect clarity. And my perception began to change and so did my reality. Eventually, the clouds started to part and the sun came out. Life as I knew it ceased to exist and everything was new. So my message to you today is if you are experiencing the dark night of the soul, just allow it and trust the process. Make sure you are practicing self-care, whether it be a spiritual bath or just taking a hot, long soak in the tub. When the scare is over, maybe you can get out in nature and go for a nice long walk, do some meditation, but just know that this is only temporary and it will not last forever. So this may be rough for you right now, but when it's all said and done, you will be grateful because life gets so much better. Isaiah 43, 19, behold, I do a new thing and it springs forth now. Can you not perceive it? I will make a way in the wilderness and rivers and deserts. So if anybody is needing help with their dark night of the soul, I am running a promotion where you get 15 minutes free consultation and then the remaining 45 minutes is $45. If this is something that you feel you need, head on over to spirituallifecoaching.net and book an appointment. I hope this message has helped someone today. Follow me on social media, links down in the description. I thank you so much for watching and I hope you all have a wonderful day.